it's Prodigy Silver Shadow, and today I'm going to give you some tips to get to the top of the Dark Tower. Now, a couple things before I get into this. You do need to be a member, and you are going to be needing to be willing to be paying gold for this. Because to get into the Dark Tower, Hello. it costs you gold. But let's get in to the tips to get to the top of the Dark Tower. Number one, level. It's good to be a high level to challenge the tower. For the bottom floors, level 30 is a good place to start. But for the higher floors, I'd recommend 80, at least. The higher level you are, the more hearts you have, and the better spells you learn. So keep leveling up. If you need help leveling up, go check out my How to Level Up Faster video on my YouTube channel. Zero is the strongest spell, so when you get up to the middle of the tower, I'd recommend at least being level 52, as that's when you learn zero. Getting more hearts is, a tr is accomplished by leveling up, so keep leveling up to get more hearts. On to the next tip. Number two, potions. Potions are useful because they can raise the attack damage that you do and lower the damage taken to you by other wizards. I'd recommend Always Critical. To buy potions, click on the map, then click on Lamplight Town. Once there, head left into, ve into ve Vendor's Plaza, head down into Pet Park, then head right into Lower Intersection, where you'll find Slamarilla. There, you can click on Slamarilla and buy potions. The potions do cost some gold, but they're pretty worth it. On to the next tip. Number three, armor. It's good to have strong armor when you go into battle. A wand is essential because it helps you increase attack damage. Armor is good too because it raises your hearts. More hearts, longer lasting in battle. More attack damage, stronger spells to, to, to make the battle last less time and turn it to your favor. Some armor that I'd recommend is either the Black Fang coat or the or the arena coat that you get from the arena at the max level. I'd also recommend the Jewelist boots or other boots with damp with a heart bonus of 80. For hats, I'd recommend the Ice Dragon Tooth Crown, as it's extremely powerful. For wands, I'd recommend the Power Orb from the Bounty Board or the Dragon X from the arena. The better armor you have, the more chance you'll have at being a good arena, being a good tower battler. With the armor, with the set of armor I just described, you'll be good to go. On to the next tip. Number four, pets. You want good pets if you want to be able to beat the dark tower. I'd recommend the following pets. If you're on floor 80, then I'd recommend having a full team of Colosteros. Colosteros can be obtained from the Dino Dig Oasis or from Shipwreck Shore. If you're going for level 50, I'd recommend a bunch of water type pets as there is a fire type dragon boss. Any of the other levels, I'd say fill up your pet team with a bunch of different kinds of elements. I recommend ice, electricity, fire, and water on your pet team, as these elements are good for battling every kind of monster that comes your way. Make sure to remember the, powerfuls, the, the powerful and weaknesses of pets and spells. On to the next tip. Number five, gold. I recommend having some gold handy before you come to the tower. It costs 500 per shot going in, plus 100 if you and all your pets run out of hearts to heal them up again. So, to, I'd recommend having at least a 1,200 gold in case you need to try twice. To get gold, do lots of monster battles, spin the twilight wheel, the normal wheel, and more. On to the next tip. Number seven, food. My last tip. Food can help you in the tower as it heals your hearts when you eat it. 
Since you have just your wizard and one set of four pets, food's a good idea. You can get food from the daily login bonus once every cycle is one apple. You can also get it off the twilight wheel by answering surveys, questions, and more. Stock up on food and you'll be good to go for the town. Thank you everyone for watching this video. That's all the tips I have for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you make your way up to the top of the dark tower. If you did enjoy, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. But thank you for watching, and until next time, go explore the world of Prodigy!